Join me as I dive into the wild world of rattlesnakes and put myself to the test. I'm going to find out what really happens when a human gets bitten. Rattlesnake bites are a serious business and understanding what happens after a bite is crucial for anyone who spends time outdoors. Whether you're a hiker, a camper, or simply someone who loves exploring the great outdoors, knowing how to react in the event of a snake bite can be the difference between life and death. When it comes to rattlesnake bites, the stakes are high. Every year, thousands of people are bitten by venomous snakes. And while most survive, some don't. In fact, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, an average of five people die each year in the United States alone from venomous snake bites. That's why it's essential to take rattlesnake bites seriously and know what to do in the event of an emergency. Rattlesnake venom is a powerful neurotoxin that can cause paralysis, respiratory failure, and even death if left untreated. The venom attacks the nervous system, causing a range of symptoms that can appear within minutes of the bite. If you're bitten, you might experience pain, swelling, and numbness around the bite area, as well as difficulty breathing, speaking, or swallowing. In severe cases, rattlesnake venom can cause seizures, cardiac arrest, and even respiratory failure. That's why it's crucial to seek medical attention immediately if you're bitten. Don't try to suck out the venom, don't apply a tourniquet, and don't wait to see if the symptoms go away on their own. Get to a hospital as quickly and safely as possible. When rattlesnake venom enters the bloodstream, it triggers a range of physiological effects. The venom causes the release of chemical mediators, which lead to increased blood pressure, heart rate, and respiratory rate. At the same time, it also affects the nervous system, causing muscle weakness, numbness, and tingling sensations. As the body tries to respond to the venom, it releases its own defense mechanisms, such as antibodies and white blood cells. However, in severe cases, the venom can overwhelm the body's defenses, leading to a range of systemic complications. That's why prompt medical treatment is essential to counteract the effects of the venom and prevent long-term damage. The sooner you receive medical attention, the better your chances of recovery. Doctors may administer anti-venom, which can neutralize the venom and reduce the risk of complications. In severe cases, they may also provide respiratory support cardiac monitoring, and other interventions to stabilize the patient. If you're unfortunate enough to be bitten by a rattlesnake, remember to remain calm and still. Don't try to suck out the venom or apply heat or cold to the affected area. Instead, remove any jewelry or tight clothing, keep the affected limb below heart level, and get to a hospital as quickly and safely as possible. Remember, prevention is always better than cure. When venturing outdoors, wear protective clothing, stay on marked trails, and avoid tall grass or brush. If you see a snake, give it plenty of space and don't try to touch or handle it. In conclusion, rattlesnake bites are a serious business that demands respect. By understanding the dangers and physiological effects of rattlesnake venom, we can take steps to prevent bites and react appropriately in the event of an emergency. Stay safe, stay informed, and stay wild. Thanks for watching. If you've got any thoughts or experiences related to rattlesnake bites, leave them in the comments below. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more wildlife safety content and outdoor adventures.